Well, we're here today with Skyla, and she goes by Parto. This is today's winner, the champion of our 2022 Spelling Bee. We're super excited. So I wanted to ask you, is this your first time competing in a regional bee? Yes, it is, and I'm super excited. <laughs> that is awesome. What was it like to do the competition online? I feel like it would be, like it's a lot different than doing it in person because like, when you're in person you know like you're like nervous and like but when you're online like you're by yourself so you're like I don't know it's just like a kind of different feeling but yeah yeah when you submitted your online test how did you feel about it did you feel pretty confident I did feel confident um because you know like when you have confidence you know you're like you have to trust your gut but I was pretty confident, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Um, were there any words you remember that were just super easy to spell? You didn't have to worry about those? Um, I feel like they were all pretty, like, you know, equally, like, kind of, not difficult, but, like, you know, like, because they're not really, like, native to me, but, you know, like, there was a couple, yeah, but I can't really, like, remember it off the top of my head. Okay. You, you may not be able to remember this either, but I was curious, are there any you remember that were really tricky or that you just weren't sure about? It was like something about circumference, but I just, I couldn't get that one. I, I remember like memorizing it like beforehand. And then like when I actually did the test, like I couldn't, I just couldn't remember it. Right. Yeah. Well, I know that I think you only missed one is what I heard. So you had really, really good score on your test. That was That's awesome. Probably that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what did you do to prepare? How did you study? Well, because I'm in dance, well, we usually like for ballet, we get these like terms. And so basically like we have to memorize them. So I feel like the way I memorize those terms, I put that same like effort into memorizing like the spelling bee, spelling bee words. Mm -hmm. So I would like um, write it like over and over and over again in like 10 different like times. And usually I would like spell it out like in my head to, so I could like visualize it, but that's what I would do. And then I would like, I would like sound it out to myself, like, you know, like all of those kinds of things. Um, do you have any good luck routines that you like to do before the competition? Um, not, I mean, I have my dog that I usually like pet, but no, not really. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you going to do to celebrate today? Do you have any big plans? Um, well, no, not really. My mom and I are probably like going to go out, but I'm not sure. Me and my dad are probably going to do something when he gets home, but you know, okay. I'm super proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, you should be. That's really awesome. What what has been your favorite part about being in the spelling bee? In the beginning, there was like this group of people that um were actually like in the group going for the I think it was the local one. And so like I, I had a really nice time like communicating with them and like I got to go with this um one girl, I think her name was Veda. And so we would like, um, I went up against her and she was super sweet. So I was like, I had a nice time like getting to know other people through mm -hmm. like the spelling bee. Yeah. What advice do you have for someone who maybe is thinking about competing next year in the spelling bee? I really do suggest like, just like going with your gut. And like, if you think it's a certain way, I think you should just go with it and don't second like, you know, like, my English isn't really good. Like, don't like second guess yourself is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, that's good advice. Um, is there anything I haven't asked you that you think people would be interested to know about you? I think something that would be interesting is that I actually speak two other languages. Oh, so wow. like if you're, um, for instance, like not confident with like your English or whatever, I think you should still go for the spelling bee because like, you know, I'm, I don't think that, I mean, my English is very good, but you know, I still went and like, I wasn't really confident in the beginning, but like, as I practice more, you know, mm -hmm. those feelings change, but I really do think like anybody who wants to do it should do it. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk with us and congratulations again. Yeah, I was, I was really happy to talk with you guys. <laughs>